is this false login for all you Yoohoo, YouTube, Yahoo's, right? What exactly is false login? Now watch this. Ha ha ha. Right? Now watch this. Automatically, oh, somebody give me the somebody give me the um, the command for that false login. What does it say? Alter okay. system. Alter database. So alter database first. what? Force login. Force login, right? Seven going enter, right? Yes. Now watch this. What exactly is the purpose of force login? This is the purpose of force login. Listen to me, guys. Mr. Uh, Mr. Dubai. Mr. Dubai, you're working too hard. Right? You're working too hard. Right? What's wrong with the force login? Listen to me. If I do anything inside of the database by default, listen to me, by default, it is logged inside of the database. You understand? Other than select. Any DML, DDL, any change I make inside the database is recorded. Of course. That is the purpose of the what? Of the redo log file. Does everybody understand? Right? Now watch this. I can create certain things, certain objects inside of the database. For instance, I can create. Now, now watch this. If I choose to create any object, for instance, right? If I choose to create any object, right, by default, it's going to take it a little bit longer to create. Why? Simply because it must first write to the data file, and also it must write to what? The redo log file. Why? Because the redo log file has to record it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's going to take it just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Now watch this. Suppose I create an index, right? I create an index. I can create an index, create index, blah, 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 blah. And at the end of it, I say, no login. What does this do? It simply means that that index I just created, right, will not be recorded in the redo log file. Right? Now watch this. However, there's a problem. Simply because this. Listen to me, listen to me good. Right? Listen to me. If anything happens to the primary database, right? But guess what? I when I created that index a week ago, I did no login. And I now do, let's say something happens to the primary database. Now I'm now I've, I've done a failover. Now I'm now my standby is now the primary. Right? Because when I was creating that index, right, I did no login. Guess what? That index will not be in the what? Stand. In the standby. Why? Because at the end of it, I said no login. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? So guess what? Your standby database is not complete. That's the problem. So when you are creating a standby database, one of the things that you must do is to do what we call force login. So that guess what? Even if that person does no login, it will still be locked. Alright, you two. That's the end of that. So done.